Good morning, Christ Church. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Yes. Readers. Yep. Um, January 20th, in oh. fact. Yep. Thanks for joining us. Let's read morning prayer together. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is God, now, and will be forever. Amen. And the Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. And we're on page uh, 82. 82. Be um, jubilate. Be jubilate. Let's say it together. Be, be joyful in, in the Lord, Lord, all you lands. Serve, serve the Lord with gladness, gladness and then come before his presence with a song. Know, know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to them and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his faithfulness endures from age to age. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. And the psalm appointed for today is a portion of Psalm 119, verses 20, 25 to, 20, to 32. Let me say that again. Psalm 119, verses 25 to 32. If you want to follow along with the psalm, it uh, can be found in your, uh, the end of your, uh, your uh, sorry, your uh, prayer book on page 765. It's page seven, yeah, 765. Yeah, starting with verse 25, yeah. And as always, we will read the psalm responsibly by whole verse, but you can follow along at home with the whole song or the portion of it. My soul cleaves to the dust. Give me life according to your word. I have confessed my ways and you answered me. Instruct me in your statutes. Make me understand the way of your commandments that I may meditate on your marvelous works. My soul melts away for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Take from me the way of lying. Let me find grace through your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set your judgments before me. I hold fast to your decrees. O oh Lord, let me not be put to shame. I will run away, I, I will run the way of your commandments, for you have set my heart at liberty. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and will be forever. Amen. And the canticle that we've selected for Epiphany Tide, <clears throat> excuse me, is Canticle 12, the Song of Creation, Section 1. And that, you can find that on page... 92, 92. Again, Canticle 12, which we'll read together. Glorify, Glorify the Lord, all ye works, works of the Lord. Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In, in the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord. O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat. Winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, glorify the Lord, 
Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark. Storm clouds and thunderbolts, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And why don't you do that? All right, I get to do the gospel this week. It is according to uh, Mark, um, chapter four, verses one through 20. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, good, I haven't read it yet. Okay. <laughs> Again, he began to teach beside the sea. Such a very large crowd gathered around him that he got into a boat on the sea and sat there while the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. He began to teach them many things in parables and in his teaching, he said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and the birds came and, up, came and ate it up. Other seed fell on rocky ground where it did not have much soil, and it sprang up quickly since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. Other seed fell into good soil and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding 30 and 60 and a hundredfold. And he said, let anyone with ears to hear, listen. When he was alone, those who were around him along with the 12 asked him about the parables. And he said to them, to you has been given the secret of the kingdom of God. But for those outside, everything comes in parables in order that they may indeed look but not perceive and may indeed listen but not understand so that they may not turn again and be forgiven. And he said to them, do you not understand this parable? Then how will you understand all the parables? The sower sows the word. These are the ones on the path where the word is sown. When they hear, Satan immediately comes and takes away the word that is sown in them. And these are the ones sown on rocky ground. When they hear the word, they immediately receive it with joy, but they have no root and endure only for a while. Then when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, immediately they fall away. And others are those sung among, sown among the thorns. These are the ones who hear the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth and the desire for other things come in and choke the word and it yields nothing. And these are the ones sown on the good soil. They hear the word and accept it and bear fruit 30 and 60 and a hundredfold. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And now let's say together the Apostles' Creed on page 94. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let's pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And we're on uh, page 98 with 
suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The collect for the day um, is the collect for an uh, ancient um, bishop called Fabian. He was a bishop and, uh, and a martyr. And this is his feast day. And uh, so let's, um, let's say it together, okay. the uh, collect of the day for Fabian. Grant, Grant almighty God, God that, that in all times of trial and persecution, persecution we, we might remain steadfast in faith and endurance, according, according to the example of your servant Fabian, who was faithful even unto death. We ask this for the sake of him, who laid down his life for us all. Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And in the Anglican cycle of prayer, uh, we pray for the people and the uh, clergy of the Diocese of um, Akobo. Say that right? Akobo. Mm -hmm. uh, in the province of the Episcopal Church of South Sudan, uh, and their John, their bishop, whose name is called John. Um, I, won't, I wasn't familiar with that one. Do you, I, I think Okobo is uh, uh, in Eastern Equatoria, but I'll have to look it up. South Sudan is, you know, we, we've worked there for years, but it's in it's a really extraordinarily large country, yeah. and um, some very remote areas. I think it's Eastern Equatoria. Yeah. We'll have to look. But yeah. anyway, pray for Bishop John yeah. um, from the Diocese of Okobo. And then. In the uh, the diocesan cycle of prayer, actually, uh, oh, sorry, uh, the uh, the let's say the diocesan uh, cycle of prayer is a um, a work in progress, mm -hmm. and uh, and it really um, doesn't matter all that much because um, last night was a um, pre-convention uh, meeting uh, online. Uh, this year. Uh, and so we can just pray for our bishop, um, John, and for the, uh, the people um, and the clergy of our diocese, the Diocese of Florida. As we uh, meet, uh, we will uh, shortly uh, for our diocesan convention in a couple of uh, well, a few weeks. weeks or so. Yeah, um, so and up. it's all actually going to happen um, online, um, obviously because of COVID. Um, but keep the our own uh, our diocese and especially our bishop in your prayers, please. And now a prayer for the mission of the church. Uh, I always forget to. I, I think this is page 100. 100 okay. Sorry, we have it pulled separately. Yeah. Okay. Let's pray. O God, o God and Father, Father of all, all whom the whole heavens adore, adore let like the whole earth also worship you. All, all nations obey you. All tongues confess you, and bless you. And men and women everywhere love you, serve you in peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as always, we invite your own intercessions and thanksgivings at this time. You can just uh, pause the uh, recording um, and say your own prayers. Uh, we're going to pray today for, uh, today is um, obviously in our secular life, it is uh, inauguration day. And so pray for our outgoing um, uh, president, uh, President Trump, and we pray especially for our incoming new president, uh, President Biden, and um, and both of their families as well. Um, pray for uh, peace in our nation 
And um, let's see what else. I think that's a pretty big, pretty big, big list. I think that um, President-elect Biden and members of our government are starting their day today in prayer, along with us and uh, President Trump last night asked the nation to pray for them and to pray for our country. And um, I'm really uh, hopeful. Um, yeah, and as always, we pray for Christchurch, for the um, clergy and the staff and all of the parishioners. And um, it's exciting to see us all slowly reopening, rejoining back together in person as we can um, safely. Yeah. And uh, sadly, we also passed over four, 400,000 yeah. uh, people uh, who've died from COVID. And so let's remember those, uh, pray for their, um, the repose of their souls mm -hmm. and uh, pray for their family and uh, friends and other people that, and also especially for the doctors and nurses and mm -hmm. other medical pro professionals that are taking care of everybody who's been affected by COVID. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And we uh, conclude our time uh, this morning with a closing prayer. And it is the prayer of St. Chrysostom and it's on page 101. Let's pray it together. Almighty, Almighty God, God, you, you have, have given, given us grace at this time with one, one accord to, to make our common supplication to you. And, and you, you promise through, through your well-beloved well son that, that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O oh Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Hallelujah. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Have a lovely day and a great rest of your week. And uh, we'll see you uh, on Sunday. Bye. Thanks.